In this video, we're going to take a look at some divisibility tests that will tell us if we can divide by a number. First, we need to know what the word divisible means. Divisible simply means it divides evenly. For example, we might say that 12 is divisible by 3, because 3 can divide evenly into 12. There are some tests that we can do for various numbers to make sure that they are divisible, so that we don't have to go through the work of long division on every single problem. For example, if we want to know if a number is divisible by 1, we simply have to remember that everything is divisible by 1. We can do 7 divided by 1, and it'll go in evenly. Everything's divisible by 1, so that one's kind of boring. Let's look at 2. A number is divisible by 2 if the last digit is divisible by 2, or the last digit is even. For example, in the number 648, we see the last digit there, 8, is an even digit, and so we know the entire number is divisible by 2. If I had a number like 329, because the last digit, 9, is not divisible by 2, that means the entire number is not divisible by 2. To decide if something's divisible by 3, what we can do is we can add the digits, and we ask ourselves if the sum of the digits is divisible by 3. For example, if I had the number 927, if we add these digits together, 9 plus 2 plus 7, we get 18. We can divide the number 18 by 3. That tells us that the entire number is divisible by 3. Conversely, if we had 635, and we add these digits together, we get 14. 6 plus 3 plus 5. 14 is not divisible by 3, and so the whole number is not divisible by 3. To decide if a number is divisible by 4, similar to 2, we will look at the last two digits. And if the last two digits are divisible by 4, then the entire number is divisible by 4. For example, if I had the number 748, the last two digits are 48, and we can see 4 goes into there 12 times. 4 goes into 4 once, into 8 twice. Because it goes in there evenly, that means the entire number will be divisible by 4. Consider, conversely, number 311. The last two digits there are 11. We can't do 11 divided by 4, and so the entire 311 fails. 5 is a well-known divisibility shortcut. We simply say that the last digit is divisible by 5, or maybe a shorter way to say that the last digit is 0 or 5. And you've probably recognized this before, a number like 635, because the last digit's of 5, it's divisible by 5. But if we looked at a number like 712, the last digit's a 2, so it doesn't work. 6 takes advantage of two different shortcuts. 6 must be divisible by 2 and 3. If it passes the test for 2 and 3, then it also passes the test for 6. For example, if we consider the number 648, it's even, so it passes the test for 2. And if we add the digits together, 6 plus 4 plus 8 is 18, it's also divisible by 3. It's important to note that it must pass both tests. If we took the number 213, added that together, we get 6, so it is divisible by 3, but not 2. Similarly, 412, divisible by 2, but not 3, so it won't work for 6 either. In part 2 of this video, we'll look at a few more shortcuts, and then a few examples.